Hey, my gators, welcome back to the single mom versus the fixer upper, where I teach you how to do things daily. Do them on your own, save money, save time, energy, and the worry. I take it out for you and I get it done and show you how to do it in a way that makes you worry free. All right, so today, as a plant mom, this is going to be a plant mom video, I'm going to be repotting plants. Did you know that having three to three to six depending on where you get the information, plants in every room helps to purify your air. Not only does it purify the air in the home, but it cleanses the actual oxygen that you're breathing in, okay? So look into that and see how amazing plants can be for your home, especially if you have children with, like, with asthma or breathing issues. It might be a great thing for you to start getting plants. And if it's something you're interested in and you're a little scared because you're like, I don't have a green thumb, definitely talk to me in the comments or you can also eat email me and we can chat and I can tell you plants that you can start with. I have a playlist on here and I have many plant videos that I've done over the several months that I've been in this house doing this journey of renovating and I haven't released them but I will be doing that soon but anyways I'm going to be repotting these two plants from my daughter's room I did a makeover in her room and I'm going to be repotting these two bear these are two snake plants so these are the best plants that you can start off with they don't need much care they don't like you bothering them that much they grow they grow slow and they do they do their own thing so I'm going to be repotting these and then dusting them off they have a lot of dust on them from can't tell until I go like this they have a lot of dust on them from the renovation so we're going to repot these babies into the actual pots that they're sitting in they come in these planters that I got that are really cool they're like rattan planters for her room so I want to take the plant and put it into here I'm going to poke some holes in that so that way I can water the plant in this so I'll just take them out every um, couple weeks when it's time to water I'll just pull this out take it to the sink and go water it and bring it back after a drip so let's get started on repotting these plants so before we get started i'm going to show you everything i have i have to get a drill bit because i'm going to put drainage holes in the bottom of the new pots so we're going to put that drill bit in and then we're going to remove the plants out of there and drill the holes i have some cactus draining soil and here also i have some perlite perlite helps your plants to um retain water but also drain them and kind of release water as needed so it's really good for plants like snake plants that do not like to sit in a lot of water there are plants that can go for weeks without being watered sometimes like literally like a month without being watered so it's up to you you get your plants on a certain regimen and you allow yourself to get familiar with the actual watering process because that's what the plant will look forward to once you do that even if you take it from a store sometimes you can take the plant especially when they're smaller and you can get it on a regimen that works for you so let's get into it and let's get these plants plants out of these pots so we're going to tip them over and start putting some drainage holes in them You want to go slow because you don't want to pop the pot. There's one. I'm going to put four, one in each section. And I'm not going to bore you, so let's go through and get these holes popped. One down. Working on number two. get this one done all right now we have drainage holes in the new pots the next step here is getting these plants out of here and all you want to do and I have these strings here because these like flop out and I don't want them to flop out so all you do is lay it down making sure I'm on the camera and you want to just agitate around the actual plant these are really hardy you can't really I'm not gonna say you can't kill them but yeah, they actually do really well. So then you just wanna take your new pot and what I do is try to keep them together and then I just place them right on inside of their new space and I use what I have because it's used to this, right? I should have gloves on, I really should. Um, and you should wear gloves. Let me grab some, I'll be right back guys. All right, we got our gloves. So you wanna kinda press it in 
these like being compacted so you want to take as much of the soil that you already have that way you may not have to use much more soil um for them these plants love to be compacted they don't like really loose spaces and they actually thrive on being compacted and nice and tight that's just how they like to grow so we want to get this the soil all around the plant make sure that all the roots are covered with the soil and that's going to be the way you can prevent from having to mix more soil and put more soil and I think we might be good we will see because we still have a lot of soil but I have it prepared and ready just in case um, we need it but it look, it's looking like because the two differences between the pots are not a really big difference so yeah we might be good because I'm not even using all of what we have here so that is how you want to repot a snake plant it's so simple and you want to press and press if the soil is moist guys you want to um just leave it leave it for a couple days see how they react and then i'll say give it about two or three days and then come back and just put a little bit of water not too much but if it's really moist you feel like it's really moist then don't touch it give it about a week week and a half before you put some new water inside of it see this soil is really moist they don't like to sit in a lot of water so i would leave this just like it is and don't even touch it and look i'm using all the soil that came out that pot and we still have some so what i'll do after i'm done with these i'll bend this piece of plastic up and get it all together and i'll kind of dump it in the pots after i'm done and then i'll dust them off and get all this dust off and put it back where it goes so we're going to set that baby to the side and we're going to do the same thing with this one agitate it the reason i'm doing this is because it's usually stuck together and it's hard and inside and it doesn't want to come out. So I'm going to do it just like that. I'm going to do the same method that I did with the other one. We're going to grab it and we're going to stick it right in there. Now this one didn't have as much soil on the bottom. So what I'll do is lift this up a little bit, then put it in and then try to put all this and this has a lot of, um, uh, what is it? It's, I forgot the name of the fibers because that helps it to not sit in water as well. I can see a lot of baby pups getting ready to come out. These are the things that was in down in the bottom of the plant that you will end up seeing come up later. I would put it up, but I already put it in, so I'm going to just keep it down in there. So let me continue. Now this bad boy, I think I'm going to take it off and um, propagate it because it's so long. It depends on when I put it back, how I can get it to lean up against the wall or not. Um, so yeah, we're gonna compact this really tight and we're gonna need more soil for this one. I'm gonna take and get as much of this soil as I can off of this plastic before I make some because I don't wanna waste the soil. Just been driving in it, why not use it? But it's kinda all over. So let me get let me get the stuff off of here and get all the soil that I can together, put it in there and then see what I'm working with. All right, I got it all together. It's a little less than I thought it would be, but it's okay, I have extra. So this is what we're working with. And we're gonna get that in here. And we're gonna make some more soil. So what I normally do is take the soil and put about, that should be what I need. That should be more than enough. And then we're gonna put some perlite inside here as well. That should be about what I need. We're gonna nicely stir that up together. Like so, and then I'm going to dampen this with some of my plant water which is regular water that I get from my refrigerator that out the uh, refrigerator water dispenser that is set out at least 24 hours. All right, so I'm gonna put a little water in it, that's it. 
just enough to moisten the soil but not have it soggy wet just enough and then i'm going to put this spray that protects the the, the plants from getting any bugs because sometimes you can get soil and it has bugs in it so yeah we want to make sure she is in the middle like so this is not going to hurt her i promise you y'all <laughs> So you want to stuff that soil all around and hold her exactly where you want her at so that way you don't have to worry about it flopping and looking like it's off and not sitting correctly in the pot. You hold it just where you want it at. Then I'm going to take and put the rest of it on this side. Like that. Get all that out of there. There you go. And we have repotted our snake plants. I'm so excited to put these where they go. And see these? Or sometimes you can just take and do your thing with them so that they'll stand up. But depending on how I put it in the room, I, I hate when they get like really big like this. That's when I like to propagate them, when they don't stick straight up anymore. So here we have, there we go, a new potted plant and let me show you the spray that I like to put on them let me get this stuff out the way okay so here's the spray that is good for plants and someone told me about this in the plant group and it does work like it gets rid of all the different things that um get into your plants and try to kill your plants and just become an infestation in your house so you can take this and all you want to do and it's not going to harm your plant and spray the top of the soil like that that way they will not be infested with any bugs or anything and i got this from i think i got this one from amazon because they didn't have any more walmart when i found out about it and it was actually a good deal it was on sale so this is great for plants and you don't have to worry about those bugs in your plant let me spray the other one there's any in there they are going to die <laughs> they are definitely going to die and once again it will not affect your plants snake plants are really hardy and even other plants that are kind of delicate I've used this for and didn't have any issues so now I'm about to wipe them off and as a matter of fact this stuff smells so good so I just take a microfiber towel and I put a little water in it and kind of you know and I just go in and I wipe all the leaves and this is something you definitely should be doing because your plants breathe through the leaves. That's where they get their oxygen and stuff. I'm so happy that unit went off. I wanted to say excuse it. I forgot to tell you guys. My heat was on. It's winter time. So, yeah. Yep. So, I'm going in and I'm just wiping them off. Don't want to bore you, so I'll be back. So, one plant is wiped down and put back. And I'm about to wipe this one down. I hope that was very helpful helpful to you. Just so you know, I am a plant mom. Like I have plants everywhere. My Zen room and they are all this room in different places. So here, yes, they're all over my home in so many different places. But just showing you some of them in my Zen room. That is not complete, so I'm not gonna share that, but I will share my Zen room and all my plant babies. I'll do like a tour of my Zen room in the future. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a comment below. I will talk to you back in the comments, and I will see you guys later, Gators.